Now, Australia has joined the United States in staging a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympic Games over human rights violations. The Prime Minister Scott Morrison said Australian athletes would still compete. In the last hour, a spokesman for China said nobody cares about the Australian boycott. From Sydney, Shaima Khalil has more. Australian athletes will compete in the Winter Olympics, but there will be no diplomats or officials attending. The Prime Minister Scott Morrison said this boycott should come as no surprise given concerns over human rights violations of the Uyghur minority in China. Also given the breakdown in communication between Canberra and Beijing, essentially the diplomatic freeze that China has imposed on Australia. For the past two years or so, Australian ministers and officials have not been able to make direct phone calls to their Chinese counterparts, let alone meet face to face. That has also contributed to this decision. We have always been open to meet with the Chinese government to talk about uh, their concerns, whether it's their concerns with our foreign interference legislation or, or other uh, foreign investment rules where Australia takes a very strong stand standing up for Australia's interests. Uh, they've been very critical of Australia in, uh, in our efforts to ensure that we have a strong national defence force, uh, particularly in relation most recently uh, to our decision to acquire uh, nuclear-powered submarines. This has not come in a vacuum for years now, but specifically for the past two years, uh, Australia's relationship with China has quickly and significantly deteriorated. There is a long list of reasons, but here are a few crucial examples. Australia's banning of the telecoms giant Huawei from its 5G network, Canberra's consistent criticism of China's policy in Hong Kong and its treatment of the Uyghur minority. China was then pushed over the edge when Australia backed an international investigation into the origins of COVID-19. They were so angry that a series of trade sanctions followed. Most recently, we heard from the Defence Minister Peter Dutton here, who said that China treated other countries in the region as tributary states. All of this make makes for a grim diplomatic picture. The Prime Minister Scott Morrison, though, said this should be separated from sports, and that athletes will be competing in the Olympics. And that was welcomed by the Australian Olympic Committee, who said that uh, getting athletes in and out of Beijing safely is their biggest priority and challenge. And while this official boycott is not a surprise, it is the latest episode in a very, very tense relationship between two key partners in the region. Shaima Khalil.